and welcome to another episode of Security 101. And this week, this is kind of specific. I want to show you how you can help protect your kids while using your iPad. And actually, it may be protecting you. So this is a security and just a general tip for an iPad. And for this episode, I'm going to jump over to my iPad and I'm going to walk you through something called guided access, which basically allows you to start a program and lock it so that unless you know the password to get out of it, uh, you cannot get out of it. And so you can, if your kids want to play a particular game on your iPad and you don't want them to be able to go get on the internet or uh, email or anything like that, you can lock them into the game and have to come to you to get out of it. So let me hop over to the iPad now. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our settings. Now my settings are a weird place probably for you, but get into settings. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll down on the left-hand side over here and we're going to go to general just like that and then we're going to scroll up to get to the bottom where it says accessibility okay after you're in accessibility we're going to scroll up just a little bit to where it says learning and you see guided access and currently my guided access is off which is probably normal for yours probably the same way so go to guided access and when you get into guided access you're just going to slide that over or touch it and it's going to turn to on and you're going to come down here, you're going to tap on set passcode. And you're going to, I'm just going to use one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And enter it again. One, two, three, four. And the passcode is set. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the main screen. I'm going to bring up uh, a game or something. Let's see. I'm going to bring up Plants vs. Zombies. One of my, one of my favorite games on the iPad. And it's loading. I probably should have picked a little faster loading game. There we go. All right. So now it's loaded. So let's say I want to lock this in. So I'm going to press the home button three times. One, two, three. And you see got it access comes up. So I'm going to Leave the hardware button is off at the very bottom. You see hardware buttons. Touch could be on, motion could be on. So you could turn these off and on. So if you don't want them touching the screen, you could do that as well. If they're watching a movie, you don't want them to touch the movie, you could take away the touch. So I'm going to hit the start in the top right. And now you can see I go in, got access to started. And I can go into the game and, like normal, use the game. But I'm going to press the home button. Pressed it. Guided access is enabled. Triple click the home button to exit. So I'm going to press it again. So can't get out of the game. So I'm going to press it three times again. One, two, three. There's the passcode. Let's say I enter a passcode. That was an incorrect passcode. Oh, I'm still in the game. Can't get out. So you see, I, I just can't, I can't get out of the game. So I'm going to do it three times again. And enter the password. One, two, three, four. And there's guided access. I can go back into guided access by hitting resume, or I can change any of the settings and go back and resume. Or if I'm done with guided access, I can hit end. And guided access has now ended. So if I press the home button one time, I'm back to my screen. So that's a very quick way of keeping your kids from either hurting your iPad, doing things you don't want them to do on your iPad, uh, protecting them as well. I mean, you're going to control what they can do. So it's just an easy way on an iPad, and I think it even works on iPhone. I can't say that I tried it. Uh, but it's just an easy way to protect them and you both when they're using your iPad. That's it for this week. That's a Security 101 tip. We'll see you all next week. For show notes for this show, contacts, and more, go to the techsend.tv website where you can get show notes for all of our shows. We love to hear from our viewers and listeners. We have an email, a Twitter, and a phone number where you can contact us for each show. For details, visit the techzen.tv website and get the show details. You can also make a video and upload it somewhere like YouTube or Vimeo and then just send us a link. You never know, you may see your video in a future show. You can get all of our shows delivered automatically to your favorite device by going to your favorite podcast website like iTunes and subscribing. Each of our shows also has a YouTube channel you can subscribe to to get regular updates. Our shows are also available on most internet radio networks like Stitcher and TuneIn Radio. You can also watch and listen to our shows on Xbox, TiVo, and Roku. You can even find us on your Zoom.